So it's got your hand. in when you're touching it, try to come in at an angle like this, and, and not like this, because you'll get, you'll get extra touch points, accidental touch. We'll, we'll tune all that out before the final, the final session, but we wanted to show you what we're working on. So then the user would, would press this button, you see how we've got all the all this light being accumulated in the center, that's to encourage people to touch this point. When they touch it, it starts the uh, application launcher. And this is all touch first, there's no mice anywhere at all, it's built for touch. And uh, you can touch any one of these apps to get them started. We have a carousel that'll take you to and from other sides of the app, so you can install many, many apps here. And if you find that you've, you've approached it, like I have here, you can actually spin spin the launcher around and it'll reorient towards towards you. This is the app I mentioned that we'll be shipping with the product. Uh, and we can we can search for what 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 company are you from? Oh no, here's our search, so they are the technical programmers. They are also they're just individual prisoners. Oh, yeah. oh, but they are the most famous bloggers. No. So we can take their name. Who's she broke? You don't know. Come on. Radio L A Z I O N. Radio. Or let's hope they're all clean pictures. Radio. So this this is this Bing search uh, import area always stays on the surface. And Lesion has created a search result path. So these are the Lesion images that we've found. You can arrange them, you can arrange them by uh, album, so you can just click through once at a time. Or you can arrange them by scatter. And you'll notice if you pull a, an image out, it has a little yellow bar, which means it's associated with this search result. So if I was to type in something else, like Samsung, you could still be using your photos. And I get another search bar, this time an orange one, that has photos of Samsung. So we can share the screen at the same time. We also have a tag function so that you can... Uh, Flip the, flip the image around and it will generate a Microsoft tag automatically. Microsoft tag. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Actually, that's a good question. I'm mean, guessing, like, if you had. One, you couldn't really have more than six or seven after the four gets too crowded. Right? You can't really do anything with them. We also have maps, so we can type in. Samsung uh, Ah, yeah. I can type in Seoul, and it'll bring up a map of Seoul for us. Where we are, right? Yeah, I think uh, should be should be down here. Right? <laughs> so you notice there's three people all using the table at the same time. What's the what's the logical implication? I have to grab the bar. The bar, yeah. If you do that within the uh, container here, then you're you're, you're orienting the, the uh, map. I see. You can do it on the bar. So that's Bing for Surface. You can also tag objects so that when you put an object down, it will automatically go 
to the search result that you can configure. No, I, just, I didn't grab the right one, but you saw Simona demonstrate. He put a, a, a lady's shoe down that has a, a tag like this on the back. These, these tags form a pattern that surface can see. And we can get a number from 0 to 256, so 0 to FN in hexadecimal. So we call these 8-bit eight, eight tags. And that's what allows us to do some of the magic stuff. So when you put one of these down, you can not only see the shape of the object, but uh, the number associated with it. <laughs> どうも、ありがとうございました。